Now, I'm gonna be honest. Speaking from personal experience, Queen Fainter absolutely obliterated me in a 1v1. I think it was five to one. If Fainter plays like she played against me in this 1v1, she's winning no doubt. Jinx, Nolan, thank you for the prime sub. Goat. Nolan, thank you for the prime sub. Boys, exclamation mark, one shot in the chat. One shot sponsored this tournament, man. $1,500 prize pool because of one shot. Exclamation mark, one shot in the chat. Use code Jinx to get 20% off. A Finca ban? I don't think any of them play Finca. Anifex ban Finca? I don't think I've ever seen Fainter play Finca in my life. I could comfortably say that. The two ups? Okay, Capcan, that's a good ban. That's a good ban. Fainter actually does play Capcan. The two ups I've seen Fainter play the most are Ayana and Capcan. I guarantee you, oh, sh my mic unplugged. I guarantee you, because Finca got banned, we're going to see Ayana from Fainter. She's going to play Ayana, guarantee it. Jaeger. Fainter bans Jaeger. I don't know much about Anifex. I don't know much about Anifex. I know he's a W YouTuber. I know that he's a W YouTuber. I don't really know what ops he plays. See, I, I know what ops Fainter plays. I don't know what ops he plays. So Fainter probably knows more than me. She banned Jackal and Jaeger. Good bans from Fainter. Anifex playing Ace. Yup, Fainter's playing Malusi. I'm telling you, she's not going to switch off of Ayana and Malusi. That, like, Fainter lives on Malusi when she's in these 1v1s, and it makes sense because the Banshees are so effective. If somebody takes over Sight, they'll know immediately. Like, if you have three Banshees spread out in Sight, they'll know immediately. All right, Fainter. So Fainter put one of her, one of her Banshee's service door. Ross, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you for the prime sub, Ross. Five seconds to go. Put me in this tourney. The tourney is completely full, boss. The tourney is completely full. Franklin advances to the next round, man. We'll be seeing whoever wins this plays Franklin. Oh, I need to, I need to hit up my thumbnail designer like quick. I gotta hit up my thumbnail designer. I don't wanna miss I don't wanna miss something. Hold on. Alright, here we go. Biohazard container located by Fainter Fainter in kitchen getting droned right now. So Anifex, so Fainter gets one of his drones. Anifex doesn't really care though. He's gonna take over Sunrise. Did he just try to wallbang a, a cam? Anifex is like that. He, homeboy almost just wallbanged a cam. Did he hit it? I think he hit it. That was clean as fuck. Oh, why am I so blown away by that? That was beautiful. He's like, it's one of those things that I know you could do, but I just never think about it. Like shooting that cam from Sunrise Bar. Anifex is like that. Anifex swinging. Fainter hits him. Anifex 70 HP. Did I jinx him? Did I jinx him? Did I jinx him? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Fainter with the W positioning. Fainter with the W positioning. Fainter with the W positioning. Anifex beautifully shooting that man Banshee. Once Fainter, Fainter gets rid of that. His last, that's his last jump, that's his last jump. 30 seconds on the clock. Gunfight going down soon. Anifex with a beautiful headshot. Oh my goodness, what a shot from Anifex. Taking round one. Dude, this 1v1 is far from over. Anifex off to a convincing lead, though. Great, great, great shot by Anifex. Wow. Great shot by Anifex. Okay, so we got an Oryx. Or Dude, I love Oryx. I think, in terms of just straight up guns, Oryx is T5 with a 1.5. is the best gun on defense right now. The gun has no recoil, a good fire rate, and it has a 1.5 scope. Like, it doesn't get much better than that. So now, we see Anifex is going to be reinforcing these the vase wall. Fainter are going to be joining up. Fainter's on Flores. What the fluff? It makes sense. It makes sense for the utility, but luckily for Anifex, he doesn't have any utility. Besides, may besides maybe his proximity alarms, right? That's about it, though. 
attackers need to locate the biohazard okay. container. Gonna be shooting open this wall here. See, the reason why Anifex is shooting open these walls is so he gets more angles onto sight. He wants to be able to see sight from, you know, 90 hull or luggage, right? He can see through sight a little bit. Unless faints are like prones. Faints are gonna be repelling up. Aqua balcony. Gonna be droning. Keep in mind, Fainter has six drones with Flores. Flores has two regular drones and then four Flores drones. So she has basically endless utility right now. I mean, she can drone as much as she wants with no worries. Fainter upside down repelling. If there's one thing I know about Queen Fainter is that she likes to upside down repel. Minute 25 on the clock. That is a passionate angle. That is passionate. That is passionate. Fainter wants the $1,000. Pushing up. Pushing up into Aqua. Now she's going to be using her Flores. The thing is, this Flores drone animation takes a long, long, long time. So she, bet, she better hope she doesn't get ran out on or ran at. Okay. Fainter shoots one of the proximity alarms. Imagine she wall banged him right there. Imagine. See, the thing is, I can see like through the walls. They can't. So everybody looks like a bot when you're spectating a 1v1, but really they're not. The are Fainter's in, Fainter's in, Fainter's in, Fainter's in. She's got to secure for a long time though, that's the way I set this up. Oh my god, did Anifex see her? Did he see her? On the right. Oh shit. Oh shit, W positioning by Fainter. Anifex is locked in! Anifex is not going home early, it looks, it looks like... It, dude, his shot is on. His shot is on. I can tell he's been in the Tiants. I can tell Anifex has been in the Tiants. 2-0 to zero lead. Do not count out Fainter yet. She can still come back. We've seen crazier comebacks than a 2-0. We've seen 3-0 comebacks. This 1v1 is far from over. Anifex's shot is on right now. I cannot lie. He's playing well. He's playing well. W controller champ. W controller champ. Anifex is playing very, very, very well right now. I mean, he had a great shot in the first round, hit a great shot in the second round. Need to find the 35 seconds on the clock. Faints are going penthouse with Mute and the MP5 with the 1.5 scope. I like Mute in 1v1s. It's smart by Fainter because she's just denying all that droning. And like I said, droning is kind of the most important thing in 1v1s. It's because when you're in a 1v1, you're all by yourself. You don't have call-outs from your teammates to rely on. You have to provide yourself with the intel it's just you you're a lone wolf so drones come in huge but if fainters if fainters on mute that's gonna make it difficult for anifex that's what poppy was doing in the last 1v1 with our mozzie pass it was smart attackers have located the biohazard container move to its location okay fainter setting up a uh, mute jammer on the drone hole so basic basically she has everything muted off i mean he really can't drone the only way he could hypothetically drone is if he broke the the hatch and drone down like that but that's very unlikely. He could do it, though. That's basically the only way he could hypothetically drone. Anifex! <laughs> buddy, 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 buddy. What was that drone, Anifex? He's getting the shakes! He's getting the shakes! He's getting the shakes! He's getting the shakes! Alright, Anifex. Reloading his gun. Rocking the Ember Eyes champ charm. Gonna be droning. As I said, 16 controller champs all competing for $1,500. Look, these Mew Jammers are already doing work. Okay, he's opening up the VIP wall. Already breaking... Already breaking that barricade. Setting up a Claymore so Fainter cannot run out on him. Very smart by Anifex. Now he's gonna try to locate Fainter. He sees Fainter. Did Fainter, did Fainter C4 her Mew Jammer? Fainter goes for a pre-fire. Anifex pushing up. Oh no. Ooh! Fainter almost slammed him. Oh no, Anifex is gonna get sight wall now. Beautiful! Anifex gets a kill, dude! I thought Fainter had that! I thought Fainter had that! Dude, I thought Fainter had that! He walked right into it. Wow, wow, wow. Dude, that, that was a good round. That was a good round. I thought Fainter had that, bro. I thought she had that on lock.
Bro, that would have been it. That would have been a that would have been a good round by Fainter. Hey, she's still in this, bro. It's 3-0. Anything can happen, bro. She's gotta get she's gotta start building momentum now, though. Like, she's she's in a she dug herself into a hole right now. It's 3-0. Anifex is chilling. He's sitting comfortable right now. He's up 3-0. Attackers need to locate the biohazard container. Alright. Um, Anifex setting up a proximity alarm. Okay. Anifex likes Oryx. See, I use barbed wire. I use barbed wire on Oryx, but that's a ranked thing. I don't I don't use um you know what I mean? I don't use proximities on him. I don't use proximities on him ever, but in a 1v1 it kinda makes sense, right? It kinda makes sense in a 1v1. Love you, B. Joel with the prime sub. He said, love you. Hey Joel, love you too, baby. Thank you for the prime. Much love, man. Location Dude, Anifex, that's a passionate, that's a passionate proximity alarm. That's, she's not even gonna see that until, until it goes off. I know I wouldn't see that. Anifex is locked in right now. He want, he wants this, he wants this one thousand dollars. I mean, who wouldn't want a thousand dollars, right? Okay, Phaedra going up to the roof. Does she have a cone six? She does. I would not have done that. I would have used it on the hatch. I would have used it on the hatch. But she has nades. I mean, she could potentially nade the hatch. Phaedra drones Anifex. Anifex is proning. Oh my god, where is he? Anifex is ratting. Dude, don't get naded. Don't get naded, bro, bro. Anifex is ratting. Dude, this is like a standstill. Run, run, run! God, that was a beautiful nade. Oh my god. <gasps> Fainter is locked in. Anifex is tagged. Dude, Fainter could take sight right now. Fainter could take sight right now. Fainter could take sight right now. Fainter, that is a great angle. That is a great angle. You're gonna get a kill on that, 100%. It says 1.5k. Yes! $500 go to second place. $1,000 goes to first place. Fainter enters. Anifex Tatos. Fainter swinging. Fainter pre-firing. Can't connect. 38 seconds on the clock. Fainter doesn't have to move. Anifex has to move. Fainter doesn't. Oh no, Fainter's playing passive. Fainter's playing passive. Anifex getting active. Anifex wins it 4 to 0. Dude, GG's in the chat. Shout out Anifex. Shout out Fainter. That was a insane 1v1. Anifex Anifex is looking good right now. Anifex is looking good right now. I cannot lie. Anifex is looking good right now. 4-0, man. His shot was on. He's going to be taking on Franklin next round. Wow. 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 GG's in the chat, guys. Make sure you follow Anifex on Twitch. Follow him on, or sub to him on YouTube. Also, make sure you follow Fainter on Twitch. Sub to Fainter on YouTube. That was a good game. W's in the chat. GG's in the chat. Shout out Anifex. Shout out Fainter. That was a good game, bro. That was a good game. Anifex played really well. I cannot lie. I cannot lie. Anifex played really freaking well. I cannot lie. Anifex played really well. I cannot lie. I cannot lie. Anifex played really well. Anifex moves on to the quarterfinals. Next up, we got a good one. We got E-Boy. Representing Europe versus Truman representing the United States of America. This is gonna be a good one. I gotta make sure it's on East so it's fair to Evite. There we go. Alright. Here we go. Let's send the invites. Let's send the invites. Let's send the invites. 